Someone's got a secret admirer. Not any of you, though. Hello and welcome back to more Prospector with me, Tas 3 os Now, before we begin, I wish to point out a few important things. When you are in the main menu of the game, press 5. No, no, no. When you are in the main menu of the game, press 5. There are a few things that you should immediately activate. For example, the first very important thing is J. Any key counts as no on yes no questions. Make it off. Otherwise you will die very very soon, much sooner than you think. Furthermore, you would want to disable safe scamming and disable easy start. You don't have to, but I feel that these are required. And with this being said, let's start a new game with a long-range fighter called the Rickenbacker. Yay! Let's dock and let's immediately rename our crew. The captain shall be called Barry the Baptist. No. Barry the Baptist. Followed by our pilot. And here I would like to point out a quote from uh, Albert Einstein. There are only two things that are infinite. The universe and the chance for Terry to fuck up a landing. And I am unsure about the universe. So Terry is going to be our pilot. Our gunner is going to be Nicole Bolas. Following that is Fanny Fister. For fuck's sake. And the return of Pablo as our ship doctor. Seems about right. And we have a jetpack on our captain, on Barry. Barry the jetpacker. And this is quite an interesting character over here, this, this white uh, coat wearing character. It's a scientist who will sell you information on nearby star systems for 50 credits. Yes. I do want that because the fighter does not have any probes, only two spacesuits, well god damn it. The fighter does not have any, no, probes, so getting those early star systems is a bit trickier. Also I will repair four points of hull, because while we start with, four, with five points of hull with the fighter, we have a grand total of uh, ten as maximum. Okay, as you can see we have five solar systems visible on our map already. I don't think we have a probe, no we don't. Well let's start with you. There are two asteroid fields, this one has nothing, this one has even less, and this is a planet with a dense atmosphere. Well yes, I do want to leave the three crew members who have no spacesuits. I wish for Terry to fuck up the landing, as always. What equipment do we have? A plasma rifle, which is uh, decent, decent I would say. A spacesuit, two of them. A vibroblade, binoculars, a helmet lamp, a seismograph, and a ship detection system. Okay. How does the seismograph work? Well, yeah, the ground rumbles, but what do I get from it? Well, yeah, I predict where earthquakes will happen. But earthquake has happened and I... yeah. It didn't predict shit. Also, this planet, thankfully, has breathable atmosphere. If you have seen photos from Mars, you will notice how how easy, how familiar ma the, the surface of Mars looks. If you are on the Sahara Desert at any point in your life, or any other desert, I visited the Sahara in my life, it basically looks quite like that, just a bit more rocky. And, uh, it's really interesting that you cannot, you would die there instantly due to no oxygen, no atmosphere to speak of. Your body would just die. And it wouldn't be pleasant either. Okay. One planet explored. 
It was shitty as hell. We have no probes. Four planets on this here solar system, and this one also requires uh, suits, even though even though it has oxygen, but it has insane, and I do mean insane, temperatures. And it has lime forms, but I don't have any... I don't have the, the science officer with me. And the ground rumbles, obviously. We have just landed, and the planet... the planet's doom is approaching already. The, the doomsday clock is ticking as soon as we have arrived. And as I said, we aren't really notified about the positioning of of incoming uh, earthquakes. So I want my money back. Actually, this is this is the random gear we have gotten. You you will you will get random gear every time you start the game, and uh, sometimes you get really really nice things. Like a set of jetpacks, it's possible. And sometimes you'll get shit. This time our draw was shit. Also, there is no way across this mount. What the hell? Well, there was no way across this. Oh, for fuck's sake! Yeah, this planet is extremely hazardous. It's, it's just falling apart. What? A dead mammal is over there. Well, I will best flee and ne- How is the- I have a fucking seismograph! It doesn't tell me anything! Unless you have to use it somehow, but... Fuck this! Now I have learned a few things about the game since our last adventure, but obviously not enough. The game has still many secrets, including the basic controls. Oh, Terry has landed successfully. We will die now. And the planet has breathable atmosphere and it doesn't require spacesuits. We will definitely die now. But I have learned how you... What the fuck?! Yep, half of our crew is dead. You have to be moving very fucking slowly in this game. And this vicious mammal is immune to gunfire. No, we are just extremely incompetent. But come on! Not even one single fucking hit. Land here. And you keep firing. Eventually, the fucking ship will land. Fire. Of course, the science officer had to die. What the fuck? I moved a square from here to here. Captain injured. Ship doctor died. I mean, this game is amazing. Launch! Get the fuck out of here, doc. Yes, at least I don't have to pay any wages, right? The crew is dead. Okay, some resources, yada yada. Refuel. Repair the hull. Don't really have to do that, but do it anyway. I want to sell my fucking useless seismograph and I want to hire a crew. Of a pilot, of a gunner, a science officer and a ship doctor. <sighs> God damn it. We need more spacesuits as well. And we need uh, cages. 
Well, a full ballistic suit is a space suit. But it would give me my gunner on the planet with me, and I don't care about a gunner. No engine. We need 500 to get improved AT landing gear. And this is the first thing I will try to get. Improved AT landing gear. Because Terry keeps doing that, also I need to rename them again. Nicole Bolas Fanny Fister Pablo As soon as someone dies now I will go with the next names. It was just ridiculous for our team to just die like that. To more or less nothing. Fuck you! Very, very slowly, be very, very quiet, I'm hunting insta-killing super predators. It's not... Oh, right, our science officer is useless. I don't want to give it an anesthetic because I don't have cages. Without cages, I cannot capture these aliens anyway. See, the game can be pretty boring if you don't have anything to do, and so you are... No, yes, but not from here. So you are willing to try to uh, speed it up. By moving somewhat faster and then your team dies. This is the biggest trap this game has, aside from those you die, random events. You know which ones I mean. You enter a cave and you die, goodbye. This monster is faster than your team and it one-shots everyone. Have fun. Yes, those events. That ended our run previously. And we don't have our science officer with us, so... We will not be able to explore as much as I would want to, we will not be able to capitalize on any... Oh. That's nice. On any findings that we might come across. Basically, it's, it's much worse when you don't have a science officer. You always want a science officer. Though I can talk with these. You know what? It's just a matter of time. It's just a matter of time. Watch. Oh. There is a delay. <laughs> Shit. Fuck. Balls. There is a delay thanks to the distance that we... That there is between uh, the target and our ship. But this planet was rather worthwhile. We picked quite a lot of stuff. Perhaps I will be able to... Probably... No, no, it will take too long. Nobody wants to see that. Nobody wants to see me try to destroy a mountain. Okay, Terry fucked up a landing. Come on, Terry, let's, let's embark on an adventure. I will give you a raise. <sighs> Actually, no, not really. I will murder you, though. Does it count as a raise? We got splashed with liquid ammonium. The pilot has been hurt. Not Terry, he's our most valuable and most important character. Without Terry, we are doomed. Doomed indeed. Then again, I don't really like Terry in, in this. You see, Terry as a pilot is terrible. He makes too many racist jokes. Like, we were having fun on this, on this uh, party that we, we threw up. We threw when we when we got the ship, the Rickenbacker, and Terry just started making Auschwitz jokes, and that, that's not cool, right? Auschwitz jokes are not cool. <sighs> I'm not sure where I was going with this. My mind is blank. 
from the sheer rage at Terry's incompetence at landing and this game's cheapness. Whoop! Oh, right. Let's not forget to get splashed with some more ammonium. Couldn't we get on the ship and get fixed by our ship doctor? Seems like a reasonable plan, right? We, you can do that, of course. It will cost you one fuel, though, because uh, the you can only do it right now. When you are not in the fucking so uh, on the on the bloody planet. Remnants of an exotic atmosphere. Of course, we need to leave crew members, and of course, Terry fucked up landing. Because Terry is just that damn good. Someone had a promo that he's just that damn good. <sighs> In no dictionary of a civilized country, there are words foul and vulgar enough to describe just how much I disagree with that statement. Then again, I mean the very definition of a vulgar foul being, ain't I? Yeah, but that's why you subscribed. Actually, I don't know why you subscribe. You are you are a fool. You you obviously don't value your time too much, and you might have some mental problems. But you know, it's in the end I benefit from it. So yay, yay for mental problems. High five. Also, if you are an Auschwitz survival, high five again. I don't think many people will will qualify as both. Not right now. Not anymore. Thumbs up if you listen to Rebecca Black. F for fuck's sake, no. Why would I even say something like that? Oh, because it's Friday, Friday. Actually, no, it's Monday. Also, Terry... Fucked up the landing and I have been injured by walking in the endless seas of ammonium. Ammonium as far as the eye can see. No farms though, much like in Cataclysm. <coughs> Written book and it's raining sulfuric acid. <coughs> Pilot injured. We are going to die very very soon, ain't we? Yeah. Yeah. The pilot is at one hit point, so... Land again, though. Oh, right. Fuck up the landing, because... Pff, that's what I'm paying you for. Oh, wait. No. No, that's that ain't what I'm paying you for. Why don't you die, Terry, so that I don't have to pay you wages? Because you only have to pay wages when your team arrives at... Uh, Bow and Arrows? What the fuck? When your team arrives at the station. So, if your team dies... <coughs> like Terry is about to, you don't have to pay wages. Ooh. Captain injured. If your entire team dies, though, game over. Well, I found a bow and an arrow. Maybe multiple arrows. I actually hope that I found multiple arrows. A singular arrow doesn't really give as much joy and satisfaction. It's like with a single sexual partner. It's, it's just... It just gets old after a while. Especially if she's into bondage. And other males. Uh, what is this? Nothing remarkable, no atmosphere, let's land. Obviously I need to explore it with Terry, and Terry fucking alone, and obviously there are meteors. Oh joy. I'm actually having a hard on right now, that's how happy I am by, the ter by this turn of events. Because meteors dropping on the planets from five seconds in, from me moving a square away from my ship, it's just hard boosting. If there was morale in this game, it would be over 9000 right now to, to use a shitty meme, further decreasing your hope in me becoming a human being at some point. It's, it's not going to happen. The terrible jokes will continue forever and ever and ever. And ever, ever? Ever, ever. And yes, that is a very good song. And yes, fucking it up like just like I did right now should be punishable by death. 
But alas, Europe has abolished that sentence. Entirely, I think. There is euthanasia though, and I'm actually pro euthanasia in some cases. If you are if it's your own will to die due to medical conditions that would make your life a living hell, you should be able to. Look at that video being not about Prospecta, but rather about people willing to die. Also, I didn't even notice what planet is it. So if it's dense, corrosive atmosphere, sulfuric acid and meteor storms, so basically random planet number five, we might have some trouble. Well, it has oxygen and I cannot bypass the lock and the ground rumbles, so I will fire my gun at the hatch. Oh, well, I picked up some rocks. If I couldn't bypass the lock, I might as well destroy the entire hatch, right? See, thievery is one thing, but... Oh, no, no, I don't want to mingle with you. I don't have a fucking science officer, and I don't, I don't have spacesuits, and the fucking space station next to us doesn't sell them either. So I won't have spacesuits, so I won't have a fucking science officer anytime soon. Thusly, everyone but Terry is going to live, unfortunately. And even more unfortunately, not gain any levels. Yeah, Earth-like atmosphere, Terry fucked up a landing, but we still have to use spacesuits, meaning the crew has two people on it. And the ground rumbles, and our seismograph is a pile of junk. Not the type of junk you could you could buy at MediaMarkt, no. The pile of junk that you would buy at Best Buy. It's just a random brand I went with, really. I don't have any bad experiences with any of these. I have bad experiences with Terry, though. Being my pilot. He really shouldn't. If you value your life, don't make Terry your pilot. Oh, yeah. Run! What the fuck? He, he appeared out of nowhere and destroyed my entire team in one shot. Fuck this! I mean, of course, roguelikes can be rather interesting indeed. Your away team has been obliterated. Do you want to see your last messages? No, I'd rather jam a screwdriver into my eyeball. 11,000 points. Fuck my life. Let's start a new game. Let's go with the scout called... Bismarck. Haha! Tsik. Quite an interesting ship. Okay. Dock. And obviously the first map is always the same, but we have a scout and scouts are my... Wait, I... Why is auto pickup off? I don't know. We have quite a few spacesuits now. Let's let's see if there is the for fuck's sake, if there is the scientist again over here, so that I can buy space maps right off the bat. And obviously, team has to be big dick Isaac. Ah, uh, ah. Uh, there was there someone else? I don't remember. No. So let's go with Walking Dead characters. Friendly Ken... No, Friendly Larry, yes. Ballsy Ben. Stable Lily. And... Uh, uh, trusty Kenny. Yes. Yes, of course. These are our characters, and... There are many like them, but these ones are mine. Without my characters, I'm not, you know, without my characters, I'm actually fucking the happiest man on the planet. With my characters, I'm a miserable sh sack of shit that is probably going to die. But at least we don't have Terry with us anymore. Now I'm not go going to even explore that that zone because it's inside, uh, what shall I call it? One of those two textures that mean your ship will get fucking obliterated as soon as you enter the without a godly pilot. News brief! We don't have a godly pilot, but we do have a gun. And this is the shittiest uh, ranged weapon possible. We have an improved rover, electronic rock picks, 
Okay, yeah, that that's actually I actually like that. And we have a camo layered protective force field. I think it's the best possible protective item. Improved rover allows you to explore planet aut uh, autonomously, but we will not be using them. I will sell it as soon as I can. To get some more money, obviously. But this is a much better start, and this is why I like uh, scouts more. Because scouts are easier to upgrade in the way I want them to be upgraded, which is with extra sensors and uh, extra fuel, yada yada. While fighters are very nice to have during combat, most of the time, if you are in space combat, you are in space combat against something that will absolutely instantly obliterate your entire ship, your entire fleet, everything you ever have had and everyone who knows you in one turn. Because it's this type of a fucking roguelike. Yes, I'm sounding like I'm not really a fan of this game. No, no you, you, you don't, un you, uh, you misunderstand, viewer. I'm not a fan of the RNG this game uses. It's crude and shitty. It's a complete pile of junk. The idea behind the game is very nice. I, I wish there were many more games like that, or rather that this game was worked upon further. But as it is with this random number generator of doom that just decides, okay, now you die. Oh, you have the best possible gear? No, you still die. Because the random event says so. Yeah, that's that, that is what I don't like. That's also the part of Blood Bowl I don't like. That's That's the part of Every single game I don't like, the the random number included. Now in some games it works well, like when map is generated, when, when uh, enemies yada yada, but not when, not when the level cap is completely off, and not when there are ultimate you lose scenarios possible to exist inside that random number generator. And this game has them. This game has the most of them in any game that I can think of, aside from Case of Card. And we picked up a powerful disintegrator, which is, I believe, one of the more powerful ranged weapons in the game. But see, it doesn't matter, because I will eventually get the random event, you die, and the, the disintegrator will not help one bit. And our pilot is amazing, because our pilot is not Terry. Our pilot is naturally friendly Larry. And Larry wasn't neat friendly until he got his head smashed with a face lick, with a salt lick. Also, yeah. Whoa, look at this random number generator. So fucking helpful. That's better. Friendly Larry is an amazing pilot though. I should give my crew members a raise for the simple reason that they only require 10 per, uh, per mission, and the mission lasts until you get back to a space station. By the time you get back to a space station, you usually have a few thousand worth of loot. But every crew member has a chance of leaving your crew whenever you enter a space station, and that is based on a few factors, one of which are the wages. So paying an extra, I don't know, let's say 10, extra 10, so basically doubling their pay, is still much cheaper than having to buy a new pilot. And that new pilot will obviously have no skills if your pilot is already leveled up. So we might come to a conclusion that it's only worthwhile when you already have a leveled up crew. I would agree. But the way this game is constructed, your level up crew will die in I don't know, 0.5 missions from receiving the level ups. You usually die as soon as you get something good going for you, like like your children graduate to college, bam, you die. Or uh, you, you won the lottery, you die. You get the idea. It has happened before, it will happen again. It's like Someone once said, beware of any man who owns a pig farm. In this game, every, you are surrounded by people with pig farms. You are, you are in bloody pig farmtropolis. 
Everyone has a pig farm. Each alien has a pig farm. Those randomly spawning, instantly teleporting, instant AoE death aliens that has have ended our previous run also have them. Rubble, 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 rubble. Yeah, but I cannot. I don't. I don't know what else to do, really. I'm running around on shitty planets, explore, picking up shit. Alien hollow keycard. What? I want it. But to get it, I need to destroy the mountain. And to destroy the mountain, I'm not even sure if I can. Well, I will try. I never ex I never encountered a, an alien holo keycard. It could be interesting and helpful. I could of course come back here. But it's very unlikely, obviously, because death awaits. No contract possible, even though I'm standing like right next to it. Fire! Obviously still not, because it's a mountain. Well balanced disintegrator. The game is trying to make up for that instant death, obviously, by giving me extremely powerful equipment. Yeah, but the problem is I don't have a crew to use that powerful equipment with just yet. Like, I have the best guns possible, but I will still miss. More or less every shot. Okay, 9 out of 10. And then one more. And the mountain is still standing strong. Well, obviously it's a mountain, but... God damn it, if Meteor starts fucking me over... Is it a hill now, or is it still a mountain? Alien Hollow Keycard, yay! So will I use the Hollow Keycard on this planet, or will I use the Hollow Keycard on a different planet? Well, meteors are dropping left and right, but at least I have a seismograph. No, that, that was the other game. I think we have died because of the seismograph. The, the game immediately told us, hey, you are going to die. Because we gave you a piece of loot that doesn't even fucking function. Or it functions, but it's not explained how it functions. The tutorial will say it? No, no, no. No? <laughs> that would be stupid and silly. Okay, do I want to get the other hollow keycard? Not really, no. Whoop. Whoop, whoop, whoop. We still have lots and lots and lots of fuel. But, unfortunately, we don't have any other space station in our visual range. This is a huge problem because we require a shop. More or less, sh shop is the most important thing for us. Because we require a sensor upgrade for our ship and a nav map. These are the very important upgrades. Sensor, sensors, nav map and AT landing gear. Three upgrades that you should always strive to get as fast as possible. These will really, really speed up your progress. By reducing the amount of times you will inevitably die. Now you, you will see an extra square when exploring space and so forth. It's, it's very, very nice to have. I remember starting with a satellite once. The, the random generator gave me a satellite. Which is nice because satellite allows you to contact with your ship from any place on the planet, and it gives you some extra scanning. Uh, we left the docking station and the satellite got rammed by our ship. Because random number generators fucking hate you. This is a corrosive atmosphere, so we aren't going there. Our pilot is fucking amazing! Larry! Larry! You are amazing! You have 8 experience already! And it's understandable, you are amazing so we are going to die very very soon 
because good things are starting to happen to us. We have an amazing pilot. And more importantly, Terry is dead. Wait. Uh, unfortunately, Terry is dead. But we have an amazing pilot to honor his memory by doing what he could not. Be competent. God damn it, there is a bit too much smoke for my liking. I feel like I'm at work again. When those fucking smokers just create a fog of war everywhere they go. Land? Over here. As you can see in the log, our doctor has fixed some cuts and bruises, meaning that he healed a bit of damage. Okay. Launch! Nothing remarkable. No atmosphere. Land. A successful landing again! God damn it, man! God damn it, indeed. He's amazing. Larry the Friendly is our best pilot Ever. I think maybe he fucked up a landing once. Maybe. I will check once we leave this planet, because if our hull is at 5, then Larry has never fucked up a landing. If it's at 4, then he fucked up 1. But we explored 2 solar systems. So it's still... Oh, right. Uh, it's still an amazing, amazing feat. I want you over here because, yeah, I wanted to set it next to the monocrystals, but there was this chance that the monocrystals were not, uh, there was no access to them. Which would in turn mean that I would basically cut myself off from the ship, resulting in death from uh, lack of oxygen. Because I would not be able to issue commands to the ship to, to rendezvous with me. And thusly, the ship would eventually just... My oxygen would eventually just run out. And I would not be able to blast through mountains with a fucking pistol. Well, I have a few disintegrators, but... Alien hollow keycard! Yeah, I never seen them before and now I'm getting them in stacks of ten. This probably means that I activated some special game mode, like aliens are attacking, you have five turns before an endless swarm of, of spaceships starts hunting you down. Like an FTL, right? I'm pretty sure there was no opening before, but it's, I, it's fine with me. Okay! Larry never fucked up a landing. And... He discovered a dwarf planet. Now he fucked up a landing, but I can forgive him that. Well... Fire? Can I... Create an opening over here? No. Yeah, this planet is difficult for Larry to land on. Okay, yes, we demand tribute. No, come back here! I demand tribute. Do you want to play with me? Yes, and it gave me a religious idol. God damn it! It's like the one thing that I didn't want to involve in this let's play. Religion. Then again I might might as well. Let's bash every single religion that that ever existed. But don't I do keep doing that in every video regardless? Uh kind of. Okay. If you see something that's that's uh, pink, you die. Like maybe you can try to escape. No, not really. No, no, no. You will die. So as soon as you see something pink, viewer, shout, and uh, the future me will jump back in time and prevent the disaster from happening. Also, don't forget to point out in the comments how I could have done better, because it always helps. No, no, better yet. Oh, for fuck's sake. Earthquake, yeah. Better yet, don't forget to point out... Oh, that's a fortress. Uh, where some secret areas were in this randomly generated map. That changes every time. 
What is my fucking ship? No, really. What is my ship? Okay, that's not good. Did an earthquake happen over here and cut me off from my fucking ship? Fire? Maybe. No contract possible. Uh, fuck you, random numbers. Fuck you. Fuck you and your stupid asses. Don't walk into lava. No, goddammit. No. No. Bad away, team. Uh, no. Fuck's sake. No. Well, I can try to... No, I cannot try to do that. But as long as my ship doctor is alive, he can keep healing my... There is another team on this planet that I could snag the ship from? Not really, because fucking hell. I'm cut off from my own bloody ship. As I predicted, might happen at some point. Now I'm fucking cut off from everything! Yeah. Yeah. Yeah! At least the soothing music from Morrowind will help me regain my sanity. Or will it? I don't remember what the ship was. It was like somewhere over there, but not really. Somewhere over here, but not really. No contract, no contract. Yes! Land. Over where? Land over there in this opening over there. I want you to land next to the fortress. Land next to the fortress. Because fortress is something I want to. What the fuck? A crash landing. I still had like fucking three hull points. How did it crash land for three damage? I'm not happy right now.